What is going on everybody and welcome back to some more Dying Light 2. Now I'd just like to apologise to Techland because I overreacted, I was annoyed because I didn't know where to go. I completely forgot you're not meant to scale the building. You're meant to come down here where I went a few times. But I'm then meant to go through these doors and up there I remember when I first came to this place that's where we went. I'm just a stupid cunt and didn't realise. So I do apologise to Techland, I know they probably won't see this but I'm going to anyway. I most definitely overreacted anyway. Let's continue on now with this uh, very good story and great game. you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? <sighs> There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Come on now, shake it off. Let's be empathetic. Hey, Juan, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to. But don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You're getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Mmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear, it would seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? about saying that probably the other way around I mean, pilgrims tend to be the love them and leave them type always on the move you a love them and leave them type i'm just pursuing my goal hmm so your constellation would be orion the hunter over there <laughs> we're lucky to see him because he's not there all year round he comes and goes just like you pilgrim you're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. So, 
Did you meet Hakon when you were building the fish eye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The good thing is, lesson learned. For life. You still care, don't you? Otherwise, why make me go into the apartment? Yeah, I care, Aiden. About the person I am now. That's why I didn't want to go back there. So the weak little girl that lived there doesn't get the better of me anymore. I used to hate her. Now, I'm so over her. And that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool. Though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. Just words, huh? Yeah. Just words. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. That's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big. When it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. You can't turn back the clock. True. <laughs> but I can stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Now. Yeah. Good night, Aiden. Frank, but I really don't have any more time for you. Matt was gonna help me find my sister, but I gave the tower to you instead, and now I'm... I'm fucked. Calm down. Come to the fisheye, and we'll talk. I might have an idea. I want to help you, Aiden. Oh, fine. Be there soon. New skill point. I'm taking that one. Uh, epic. Let's go to the canteen. Then. It's misty out here today.
It's Aiden. Come in. Luan? Oh, come on, Luan, answer me. You there? Ah, great. I fixed the transmitter, and now you go radio silent. city once more and forevermore signing off talk to me frank look we started off on the wrong foot i'd like to correct that mistake have a drink yeah for me uh, frank i really don't have time for this i to find another way to find my just listen Observatory is completely soaked with chemicals. <laughs> I have no idea how this GRE crap works, but Waltz sure seems to know. Maybe the observatory is not the only place to access the database. Is this conversation all you have? Uh, for now. But if we got close to their position and hacked into their frequency, we could collect more intel on Waltz's plans. How? The transmission you heard was intercepted near an old military antenna in the wharf, just south of Marshan Lane. If we activate that antenna, it'll boost the signal and we'll be able to hear everything they say. Every syllable. And you'd know exactly what Waltz is up to. Tell me more about these antennas. The military installed them on the tallest buildings to blanket the entire city. They're extremely hard to access, but all we need is the one nearest to where those renegades were based. When the signal's stronger, we'll be able to hear everything they say. Now the good thing is, it's the closest antenna to the canteen. You shouldn't have trouble finding it. It'd be quicker if I could just find him. You're impatient, I understand. I know what it feels like to have wasted too much time, but you have to tread carefully. Remember, you said Waltz turned the power back on, then the renegades invaded the central loop. 
there's something going on. So best to collect as much intel as we can before you confront him. So, you think Waltz ordered the renegades into the central loop? Well, until now, the Colonel kept him on a short leash in his stronghold. But the savages we've been seeing lately... What the fuck? Something must have changed. One of the PKs told me that Waltz is after something called, uh, X-13. Doesn't ring any bells. Right, anything else before I get going? Oh, one more thing. Look at that poster, Aiden. Nightrunners used to abide by that creed, live by it. I used to think we were as torn apart as that piece of paper. But the creed still means something. And if you increase the range, I can contact the remnants of the old Nightrunners. Some must still be alive. I see it now. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Not just to me. To everyone here. But there's one piece missing. Do you know why I haven't thrown this poster away in all this time? Because of Luan. When I saw her for the first time, she was maybe about eight, nine years old. She was barely alive. She looked like she hadn't eaten in a year. And she was trying to help some kids get a crystal back from a thief. The guy was threatening them with a knife. He was twice their size, stronger, and she jumped on him. Bit his hands so deep that his screams were heard as far away as old Villador. After that, she gave the crystal to one of the boys and left. She didn't get anything out of it. She didn't have to risk it. I looked at her and thought, this is all we have left. As humans, we can fight one another. Everybody just for themselves. Or, no matter what, we can stand up for each other. Then I wrote down his credo. That little girl helped the Nightrunners become who they were for years. And if we are to be reborn, we cannot do it without her. Why not without her? You see, she's a tough one. Maybe too tough. I trained her, helped heal her wounds, but never healed the biggest one. Revenge. She's built a mighty thick wall around herself. Can't seem to let go of her anger. If she doesn't, it could destroy her. <laughs> I know, I know. Drunk calling the kettle black, right? I'm in no position to judge, Frank. Thanks. No one's so fucking obsessed with her kill list. She needs to throw that damn thing away. Otherwise, it'll kill her. Let's hope she's better fighting them than I am. What are Luan's demons? Almost too many to count. But Satan himself is at the top. Wait, you mean Hakon? You know him? Yeah, we've met. It all came down to the TV station mission. Hakon was against that from the start. Got Killian on his side. He said it was suicide. But I know the truth. The fucker chickened out plain and simple. Till then, he wasn't just a night runner to me. I thought he was leader material. But he didn't have our backs. Tore the creed in half before he bolted, and with it, tore apart the night runners themselves. Fucking coward. Didn't deserve to lick Lawan's boots. <sighs> Look. I'm starting to get pissed off, and we should focus. What about Hakon killing Lucas? Mm, that took some balls. Sure, but they weren't his balls, they were Waltz's. Hakon's just the guy's lapdog now. Sit, roll over, assassinate. That's yeah, true. Neutered dogs are even more obedient than they were before. Exactly. Okay, I'm on my way. Then go get him. I'll be on the radio. You remind me of Luan, before she became obsessed with that goddamn hit list of hers. I'll get ears on the renegades for you. I'll find out what Waltz is up to. I promise. Alright, cool. Anyway, well, uh, that conversation went on for a while, so I'll end this video here, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,